seeking an indecent image of a child. The children allegedly aged between 11 and 15 and the years in question 1980 and 1981. The second man who's been charged... Uh, we're going to leave Matt Roger there and uh, go back to St Mary's uh, Paddington because uh, news coming in that uh, an announcement uh, could be imminent. Let's go back to Anita. Tim, thank you very much. Yes, still outside uh, the Lindo Wing here at St Mary's in London. And a lot of interest was caused just a few minutes ago when we heard uh, the news that the household, the royal household, in other words, Kensington Palace, had decided to make an alteration to the timing of the announcement of the birth. And with me now is our royal correspondent, uh, Peter Hunt. Peter, a lot of anticipation that this means something is about to yeah, happen. What more I'm, can you tell us? I'm, afraid I'm going to keep glancing at my uh, iPhone here because we'll get the, the email here. And the, what the difference means is that an email should appear in about a minute or two on this phone, which will give us the information we thought would be played out in a theatrical fashion on, on a bulletin. But first, we will get a bulletin via email which will say the baby has been born, the sex of the baby, the weight of the baby and the time of the birth. And that should happen very shortly. Okay, well, here we are just to uh, recap at the Lindo Wing. We just had